Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing this fine Monday afternoon for myself? God knows, whatever time of the world it is, whatever time it is, and whatever time zone you happen to be in. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Alien Nation for the PlayStation 4. This title was sent to me by PlayStation Portugal so that I could give it a look, tell you guys my opinions on it. And this is going to be my very blind first impressions because I haven't touched the title yet. I've been waiting for the embargo to lift. Embargo lifts today. I believe the game gets released tomorrow as a PlayStation exclusive. So let's get this bad boy started and see what this is all about. This is a game, by the way, for those of you who are not aware, by Housemark. These are the same people who brought you Stardust as well as what was that launch game on the PS4 that I really, really liked? Get the name now. God damn it. Resogun. Uh, they also did Dead Nation, which was another top-down shooter. And this is the most recent title in their portfolio. Let's see what this the is about. The alien invasion of Earth began so quietly we barely noticed. Early incidents were covered up by the world's governments. The Great War has been raging for decades, and mankind has all but lost. As alien forces close in on the last strongholds of humanity, the UNX world government has developed combat exoskeletons, granting their users superhuman abilities. Now, our time is running out, and we must prepare for our last stand. The future of mankind rests on the shoulders of mechanized infantry. Mechanized infantry. Hey, I see Raphael I sell in chat. Yuki Mars NC. How you guys doing? Shields up Ironbreakers. I see Miss Callisto. Wow, a lot of Ironbreakers in there. Let's get this bad boy started. Okay. Two modes. Normal mode. Death is temporary. Player respawns are enabled. Hardcore mode. Death is permanent. Game ends when player dies. Yeah. Hardcore mode. Biospecialist armor info. This armor integrates a mobile nanomachinery manufacturing plant and can release swarms of nanomachines to either provide medical aid to allies or directly damage enemies. Tank. This armor is designed to increase the strength of its user. It is capable of delivering massive blows and enables superior firepower. Saboteur. Armor augmented with alien warping technology, which allows the user to teleport short distances and bend light around him. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest we all know where this is going oh so i can't even select the proper call there we go of course we're looking for the red and black come on come on battles upgrades rankings bestiary options change campaign controller settings so i'm assuming oh you just create a new campaign <clears throat> that's it very well First battle is Barrow, Alaska. Now, there's also Unix training camp. Maybe I should go to the training camp first, learn about things. Welcome to combat training facility, Captain. Colonel Clark and his team has de have developed the advanced armor and weapon systems that you will be testing today. We're both tapped into your suit's telemetry and camera feed so we can see how you get on and provide remote tactical support. Welcome to the combat training facility, Captain. Colonel Clark and his team have developed the advanced armor and weapon systems that you will be testing today. And we're both tapped into your suits, telemetry, and camera feeds, so we can see how you get on and provide remote tactical support. Use equipment, rush, use armor ability 2, shoot melee, switch weapon, use armor ability 3, interact, use armor ability 1. Wow, tons and tons of armor abilities. Move, salvage, loot, R3, aim, slash, reload, weapon, L3. Okay. All right, Captain. We'll start off by testing basic locomotion. Okay, first thing... Nice the smooth. Leg actuator's all functional. Now, let's see you vault over an obstacle. The first thing I instantly noticed when I started playing the game is, wow, only 30 FPS. I gotta be honest, that was the first thing I noticed. Anyway, something that I'm also noticing is that my camera is going to be covering up the map the way it is. So let me just change that real fast.
There we go. Now we're going to do a little bit of horizontal flipping on this. Perfect. And that should get us pretty much set up. Now, as I was saying, very surprised that you can only do 30 FPS with this. I expected a lot more. But anyway, let's see what we can do. Vault over obstacles using a one. Yes, it okay, does. Okay, Captain. Weapons hot. Take aim and shoot to kill. Okay, close range. It's kind of like an Iron Man suit. Good. Now for the part I like most. Press once to throw a grenade at the target in the pit, and detonate it by pressing once more. Totally mess that up. And again, good job, man. Nice fireworks. Range and yield both nominal. I wish I had those in my day. Captain, don't forget you can detonate grenades at any time. It's entirely up to you when you press the button. Pretty good show, Captain. Hmm. I think you'll do just fine. Now proceed to the extraction point and let's get you back home. Looks like there's a limited amount of ammunition. Which kind of reminds me a little bit of Dead Nation. Luckily, there isn't a uh, limit on your melee attack, so... This about. Stardust inbound for extraction. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. XP multiplier up. XP multiplier up. Let's hope not to the too much of a limit, because I am playing in hardcore mode. Blood on the ice! A UNX patrol- actually, I'm assuming they're going to give you this briefing like they did for the training, so... Start a new mission. E8 bit gay. A couple of Brits playing in there. We're just going to start a new mission. Rookie professional veteran. Wonder if I should almost go for rookie, because it is hardcore, but no, man, come on. Come on! UNX patrol investigating reports of a crash at Zeno ship at the Northern Light facility sent a distress signal that went silent. Investigate the area, find the missing patrol, and report their status. Yes, we will. Good luck, Captain. This place brings back memories. It used to be known as the Arctic's Science City when I was stationed here back in 85. Nothing but ice and shadows now, Colonel. Luckily, the auto map is picking up the patrol transceiver signals. It's not far away. I wonder how many melee hits I can do. There's a smart reload function, so you have to hit the reload button right as it's going through the green thing. It seems to reload faster. All the transceiver signal. Really hoping that I'm not gonna have to scrounge for ammo. they just don't stop. Hey -o. Ow. There we go. Uh 
Okay, still getting used to the controls here, but it's super, super intuitive. You just kind of like aim and shoot. The thing that's throwing me off a little bit is that the things that you can climb over are like very specific. So like you can climb over this wall, but I can't climb over this truck. This music seems somewhat familiar. Either I'm constantly picking up ammo, or I don't know, because I'm not struggling for ammo at all. Which is good thing. I like the art style. I also really like the animations. I like the active reload thing so that you're not just like, oh, I'm waiting for reload. <clears throat> respawn after death. That's cute. Where we're going, we don't need respawns. Okay, he also deals melee, so we probably don't want to do that one again. Where we're going, we don't need respawns. Hoorah, soldier. Oops. Okay, they definitely don't stop coming. There better not be any death drops in here. There's the ammo. I really shouldn't waste these, because these are pro- Oh, crap. Peace out. Okay, I really should have killed those eggs before I moved forward. Okay, so after a while, I have to say that... I was just surprised earlier on the 30 FPS, but after a while you get used to it pretty fast. It's not like one of those games where 30 FPS hurts you too bad. Should have used some grenades back there too. Oops. Definitely is one of those games that you will want to play with more players. I told Glovku to join me, but it was too late last night, so I'm not sure if he got my message. But this seems like it would be a whole lot more fun, like if you had the medic or even the saboteur, just to have another person to kind of like be taking on these aliens with you. So definitely designed for co-op, which shouldn't be news, because this game is a four-player cooperative type of thing. Oh, so the nade's on a cooldown? Energy gun, stock primary. Oh, Can I change it, like right now? Yes, I can. But it's got lower stats and everything, so why would I want to? Do I take damage? Yes, I do. I was wondering if I took damage for being in this fire thing. Really digging the animations and the sounds. The sounds are also looking real good. Oops, messed up the reload. Ow. 
I finally got my first ammo low thing, so I'm assuming that in veteran, ammunition should be a little bit more scarce to kind of force you to utilize your teammates more efficiently. Kind of force you guys into some teamwork. can totally zoom into the map if you want to. So there's another transceiver thing. Well, not transceiver, but there's another respawn beacon here. Which, to be completely honest, respawn beacons shouldn't really matter that much to us. We're going to see what these utility cores and stuff are for once we go through, um... Once we go through the, um, the mission and whatnot. Pick up some more ammo. Daniel Shapiro, yeah, Rui, are you in the Fight Club stream? Of course, I'm hosting it. At least I should be hosting it. picks up once there's more people on the screen. I like that. Dynamic music? I'm all about dynamic music. Getting a little bit cocky because I'm starting to get the hang of the flow of the game. Which is bad when you're playing hardcore, but what the hell. You gotta take some chances. You gotta live a little, man. You get some kind of a toughness boost when you boost him. Level up two, use ability points. Damn it. I've been missing on that reload quite a bit. So this would be the alien ship, I'm assuming? Hey, finally, I think this one's actually better than the one I have. Right? No? Equipment. Remote grenade. Mine. I'll take the remote grenade, because I'm assuming you can't throw a mine. Uh, two ability points. How do I... Abilities. Are two. Active abilities. Tesla Charge. Harness all available energy into your armor. The gathered energy can be the restart... Res this charge and two devastating bolts of energy, which damage all enemies in their path. Square to activate, then R2 to attack. Shield a kinetic barrier. Okay, so this, this shield ability is more if you're playing with teammates. Ground Smash. Instantly reroutes all available energy to your arms and slams them in the ground. Passive abilities. Kinetic Assault. While rushing, use R1 to activate a Kinetic Assault special attack that deals double damage to enemies hit and knocks them down. Power Punch adds a 60 degree sector to your basic melee attack. The sector is in front of you and all enemies hit with it take double damage. Quick Recovery. If you don't take damage for two seconds, you start to regenerate health. I'll take this for now. But I still have another point. Sweet. So, what is this plus thing? Node inactive. Activate the select which attribute to enhance. Oh, okay. So I get one passive and one active. Gotcha. In that case, the active is probably going to be the Tesla charge. Because we are, we are going to be playing solo for the duration of this live stream, so I am going to be optimizing my character for solo. But it's nice to see the potential that it has for the multiplayer with the shield and stuff. Like, if I was playing in multiplayer with friends right now, most likely I would go for the shield ability. I like the fact that it, it seems to have a decent amount of verticality, which is good for a top-down game. 
more interested though in seeing about boss fights and whatnot. So that is very underwhelming. That's our special Tesla charge thing. I was expecting something much better. And again, the health regen thing that we got on our passive is going to be way more important. So something that I've just noticed as well is that the game seems to... Um, the game seems to kind of incentivize you to keep like a combo going because of those XP boosts that you get because they run out. cooldown on that ability. Can you just do it once and that's it? Oh, because it's still not active. Ow. There's more. But wait, there's more. Starting to reload the square, you can see it on the bottom left. Uh, it made charges so much faster than your ultimate. You can probably improve it, and there's probably gear that will like reduce the cooldown of your abilities and stuff. Ow. Interestingly enough, I'm not even close to following the signal right now. I'm just like going through the map because that's kind of what I like to do in these top-down games. I'm just like, I want to explore. is becoming a bit of a problem. Another utility core. Or power core, whatever that thing's supposed to be. Activate the respawn after death. Yes, I will activate the respawn beacon. I'm sure it will come in handy. Okay, let's actually follow the transponder signal because we keep running very low on ammunition. Hey, you got some ammo for me? Okay, I think I finally found one that is better, am I right? Pretty please, this time? Yes! 
reroll stats? I don't think that's a good idea. I definitely like the fact that the M the thing, the reload thing shows up right next to your character. Abilities charged. Oh, so you can get that too. There I go again, going off the beaten path. Yeah, let's actually focus on following the transceiver signal. Also, I gotta take a sip of my tea here. <sighs> Chamomile. It's good for you guys, trust me. Just trying to help you out. Whoa! Did not expect that one to blow up. Got blown up the smithereens! Punched me in the face. Unacceptable. Ow, should have rushed out of there. Although we got a beast of a primary weapon. I'll take that. We'll do right after I pick up whatever this is. Phantom Alpha, this is Phantom Bravo. We're trapped in the NARL. Need immediate backup. Phantom Alpha, do you copy? Come in, Phantom. Nothing but static now. That didn't sound good. Captain, search the area for anything useful while we pinpoint the source of that transmission. Okay. Flower. These nano flowers are temporary power up upgrades. So that one gave me additional melee damage, which is why I kind of rushed into the enemy there. Worked out pretty good.
you kind of get into a flow after a while, just like, hit them, reload, hit them, reload. Charge in, melee, hit them, reload. Good job, you found that C4, Captain. Plant the explosives on the wall, and let's see if they still work. Zenos everywhere. Burn the heretics! God heavens, the whole place is overrun with xenophyte growth. Ammo situation is not looking too hot. Why are these purple? I think it's because they're so high level. Okay. Uh oh. That almost took a really sudden turn for the worst. Assuming since they said clear them all that they don't respawn in here. At least that would kind of make sense. Whee! I love the boost thing. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Turn this on. These sounds, though, they seem like they're straight out of Iron Man. Like, I won't lie. It's also very reminiscent of Hell Divers for sure. I wonder if you have vehicles too, or if that's not a thing. <laughs> Dalton Birchmeyer, can you only get this on PlayStation 4? As far as I'm aware, yes. The patrol is lost, and the Zenos have established a foothold at Barrow. However, in the chaos of battle, they haven't managed to locate their crashed ship. UNX must return to Barrow immediately and find the wreckage before the Zenos. Okay. So I'm going back. Okay, before we go back, though, let's take a look at our upgrades. Gear. Primary. Energy gun. Can I sell the rest of these? No, but I can salvage them. Good. Salvage, 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 salvage. And now we can like upgrade this bad boy, right? How do I upgrade it? Upgrade, reroll stats. Stats seem fine, whatever. What do we do here? Upgrade core types, damage, fire rate, clip size. I want the damage. So I guess I have to start here. Core damage plus 6%. Fire rate plus 12%. Is there a clip size? Clip size plus 12%. I'm confused though. So, theoretically, in here you would want a fire rate thing and you would get like a bonus, right? You should be able to get a bonus for doing it this way. Or so I would assume. So we'll do that. And then here, doesn't really matter, so we can do clip size. Wait, no. Is white critical chance? 
Then we should do critical chance. And then here we should do damage. Can I do more than one? Yeah, I didn't think so. Now here we'll do another fire rate. Synergy fire rate plus 8%. Boom. Fully upgraded. Abilities. Uh, we have what? One unused point and passive. Power punch. Or health orb regen slash xenoflower duration. Current bonuses, health orb strength plus 15%. No, don't want that. Kinetic Assault. I'm actually going to use Kinetic Assault. Yeah, I think this should be fun. Boom! There's more gear, though. Equipment. Remote Grenade. Level 3. Deals more damage. Equip. Break down the mine and break down the other Remote Grenade. I don't even know how to craft stuff yet. Back. <clears throat> Sneaky Chicken, how are you already playing when it's not out yet? I'm only allowed to show you guys, like, I think the first two hours of gameplay. Um, and the game comes out tomorrow anyway, so it's to give you guys an idea on whether or not you want to buy it. So we got this. Resources, gear upgrade cores, reroll materials. Okay, I'm getting the feel for it. The beast area, we can see what each of these dudes is. Okay. The harder they fall. Oh! So this is the same map, except a different mission. Very well. We're gonna stick to professional. Try to reach the ship's wreckage and find out what the Xenos are bringing to Barrow, and more importantly, why. Give him hell, Captain. The ship Will appears do. to have broken up into several large pieces. Infrared is showing multiple heat sources. Let's go take a look, Captain. These guys aren't messing around. What's this? We have a really beast of a mind. Hey! Okay, so this confirms one of my suspicions. There's no pause button. Even if you're solo. I hope respawn beacons gives you something else other than respawn locations, because... Holy crap! Ah, oh, this is like a saw right now. Look at it just mowing people down. <laughs> Suck a chunk! I actually like the mines more than the grenade. For my playstyle. Activate your respawn after death. Maybe there's a um, trophy or something. Guess I can't handle this. I expected a lot more. I'm supposed to knock people down, too. I love the way that guy just kind of bounced off the, um, 
the railings there. It's got another Zeno plant. with the yellow in the flower does. How about the blue one? Can we get multiple? Ooh, sweet. Everybody likes a good XP multiplier, right? Okay, things are not looking up. we have to take this actually we can salvage it instantly huh perfect yes kill all the xenos burn the heretics Destroy the Xenos. So, is the reload thing getting slower or am I getting faster at interpreting it? I don't know. One of the two is definitely happening. I gotta be careful. I gotta not take those kinds of chances anymore. Otherwise, this is gonna be the shortest first impressions first impressions in this channel. Gotta be honest though, the, the fact that it's hardcore does kind of put you. It gives you a little bit of that rush where you're like, oh man, I can't die right now, I can't die. Oh yes, activate it. Equip it. I want to collect it. Scanning complete. Probes. Intel confirms these are a critical component of the Xeno Scouts. Thankfully destroyed in the crash. There's still one heat source left. Head for it, Captain. Okay. 
<clears throat> Blur45, is he playing hardcore mode? Yes. Yes, I am. But then again, I'm not playing max difficulty. I'm only playing professional. There's an additional difficulty uh, in front. Oh, what? No, come on. There's no enemies in here. Give me just like a ton of... Oh, crap. Yes, yes. Gets a little bit bullet heavy with these guys. Ow. That's the sound you don't want to hear. God damn it. Seriously, no ammo drops? The fuck, guys. There it is. Wait, that was an ammo? God damn it. This is a serious problem right now with the lack of ammunition here. Pick up ammo? I did. 36 worth. There it is. I'm not activating the scanner just yet. There's only one tower here. We need ammo. Need a scavenge. Talking. Let's activate the scanner now that we have 400 ammo. That was a bit of a struggle. Luckily, we leveled up. In progress. Inbound. No, really? Okay, so you only get two shots off of the square thing. gain anything from doing this? No? I do believe that I picked up yet another better ammo. Better uh, weapon, I mean. Yes, I did. Equip. Salvage. Can I get the, uh... Oh, I get my upgrades back. Perfect. Oh, but only the blue ones get upgrades. Okay, I see how it is. 
Uh, mine, level 3 common. Still the best thing. Salvage it. Salvage it. Secondary, plasma shotgun. Oh, so we now have a secondary weapon. How do we switch? This I need to learn. Where are the controls? Teach me, oh mighty game! Okay, we have new abilities, Tesla charge. I don't know which... I wish it would tell you what it is. Increases damage dealt by Tesla charge. Gotta be honest, Tesla charge. Wait, I can't go back? I was able to go back previously. What if I don't want it? No! Increases the width of fire energy bolts. Yeah, give me the width. Then passive abilities, we don't get nothing. Okay. This is garbage. Either way, I have to learn where's the controller settings. Equipment rush, how do you switch weapons? Triangle. Which is what I suspected, but... Plasma shotgun. Plasma shotgun only gets 40 shots, 3 shots at a time. Gotcha. Plasma shotgun. Let's try it out. Yep, it is very much a backup weapon. Like, is your energy gun down? Okay, then you should probably use the plasma shotgun. Better. Ow. It burns! It burns! That mine was so underutilized. Ow! Why the hell did it blow up on me, though? Nah, that's pretty pointless. We're gonna have to come here for something else, so... What you guys doing in my LZ? This is Stardust initiating descent. Good to see you in one piece, Captain. Good to see you too, Stardust. Okay, so definitely we had a lot more, um, a lot more situations where we almost got ourselves killed. Laku's in chat. Of course he's playing as the tank. Of course I am, dude. I'm also playing as hardcore. Yeah, buddy. Hardcore tank. Okay. You missed Scans the loot. The crashed Didn't see it. Oh, I skipped something. My bad. Okay, let's see. Unlocked locations, accomplishments. We have new gear. Primary. Energy gun. This is garbage. Salvage that bad boy. Abilities. We can't do much. I wish you could... Can you change? No. You can deactivate it and allow- Oh, so you can respec. You can respec at any point. Well, good. Let's get rid of this altogether. Give me this one. Ground smash. Node inactive. What do we get here? Rush distance knockdown duration. Shma smash damage. Smash radius. Give me the damage. Or the radius. What does this do anyway? It just damages them. If it stunned them, the radius would have been better, but... Let's go for damage instead. We can take this all the way- no, we can't. Never mind. And in here, we can choose... Survivor. This effect only applies if you have less than 25% health. I did not read the fine print. So, we're gonna deactivate that. Actually, no, we should- we should have that one. That one's always useful, because at least I'll be at 25% health at all times. Okay, this'll do. And this is used with circle. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Northern Light. Wow, there's a lot of the same map.
Barrow was the initial site of the Project TriStar radar array, codenamed the Northern Light. Fortunately, the equipment here was mothballed just before the blackout in 2009, and remote diagnostics report all systems nominal. Apparently, one just needs to throw the switch to power it up. Hey, Globku, you want to play, but you have to create a hardcore character. Kick some Zeno's butt for me. Head for the nesting areas, Captain. It's time to do a little home wrecking. Trailblazer, such an appropriate name for that guy. Take this core. Already? Jesus, we barely even got started. Well, time to switch that shotgun. Kill the Xenos commander. Oh, there's the Wyvern. So basically, what Housemark has done here, now that I'm looking at this enemy, is they've taken the Diablo formula, which I know that a lot of people think, oh, Diablo formula is isometric, but no, I'm talking specifically about loot as well as uh, random enemies and shit. They take the Diablo form loop and they slap their uh, like really good shoot them up uh, gameplay on it. And that's what this game is. Well, I guess it wasn't that random. Energy gun, primary. Sweet, gimme. Your base power. Gimme that too. Destroy the Xeno's nests. Did he just kamikaze onto something or that car just happened to explode? Gotta be honest, I'm really digging it. There's just something about this gameplay, it's just very satisfying. Although I'm probably going to regret having made a hardcore character eventually, but... Right now, for your entertainment, I'm living on the racing edge, man. I know where I recognize the music from. It's some fucking starship troopers. 
I can't believe it took me that long to realize that. Oh, wait. Yeah, I definitely like the ground stomp a lot more than the laser thing. We have to slowly and methodically go through this. Distance on those things is a pain. You know what come in handy right now? A grenade. Oh, maybe I can just kill them from here. Excellent. Okay, that's better. One missing. No! Down to the friggin' plasma shotgun. Now there's three more over here. Okay. On to the next. Looks like we're done with this area. Proceed to the next sector, Captain. Okay, there's six more of these suckers. We still don't have any more ammo. This is not going to be easy. Hmm. No! Can I please have some ammo? Wyvern, explosive death. Okay, I see him. Okay, Wyvern. Could have used that car on it. Interesting, the minions also share the explosive death thing. Testing to see if I could blow up that tanker. <laughs> you 
see the massive explosion? Look at him! Boom! Yeah, buddy! Okay. I like the fact that there's all these side things that you can do along the way. And not just because they're side things, but because you also get rewarded for doing them, of course. Oh yeah, give me this. This is good. Mm! Like that melee damage, don't you? Yes, yes, yes! You hide? Why are you hiding? Oh, there's nobody else in here. I thought I'd be able to, like, do one last um, melee damage swing. Bomb the heretics! Nobody likes you. Or you. Hey, -o. More weapons. Boom! I need to start using melee a little bit more. And by that I mean whenever I get surrounded and shit. Very close call. Yes, indeed, Ryan Memphis. Yes, indeed. Goddamn grenade for those. Do I have a grenade? It's really ticking me off.
come on. This is gonna be really bad, you guys. We're super low on ammo. Super low on health. We gotta find some friggin' loot on the way. Do you even get healed if you activate one of these? Because that would be a reason to activate them. Well, you get nothing. Thank God for level up. Bastard. New plasma shotgun, boys. Five shots. Whoa. Okay, we need to get rid of the shield generator before we actually engage on those towers. And how the hell are we going to do that? Maybe if I go through here... Nope, there's nothing that would indicate... Could these barrels potentially blow up that thing? Oh, I can just bypass that altogether for now. That works. Just start the power up sequence from the main console and it should connect to our next ramping to full power, connecting to infrastructure, searching for the red star. Yes, please, let's get me out of here. I think this is a good idea. And I'm in full support of this plan. Hit those guys in the back with the red stuff, it'll mess them up. I'm kind of curious about shield generator all the way in the back there, though. Kind of makes me want to risk it, but not enough. Not enough, baby! I'm out! Yeah! So, so far, the more I play the game, the more I get a vibe of a uh, shooter version of Diablo. If that's even possible. And I don't know why, but um, this one, I really enjoyed Helldivers back when it first came out. But this one, I the like Zenos it even Ness more. The have been destroyed, and the Northern Light is online. Interestingly, it is receiving signal activity from the Red Star, the secondary element of the Project TriStar Array, located in Pripyat, Ukraine. Northern Light Array activated. Pripyat in Ukraine. But before we go to Pripyat in Ukraine, 
Ooh, yeah, we now have a launcher. Okay, secondary, this plasma gun's better than that plasma gun, so we'll melt that. This energy gun, this one's 258, this one's garbage. This one's garbage too. But this one is 230, but we can probably beef it up to be a lot better. Upgrade. Clip size, two clip size, oh yes, yes, okay. We have level three boost, so we'll get that. Uh, I would rather do damage. There's crit chance, but this is only 2%, so give me the damage instead. Now, give me clip size. Clip size. Ooh, 300 deeps. Told you guys it was going to be better. We can even re-roll the stats, which I don't even want to. That's fine. Salvage that. This energy gun's looking mighty sexy. Mighty sexy. Equipment, mine, still nothing better than that mine. Okay, we can have another active ability. Tremor, your ground smash has such an impact that... No, no we can't have that. Never mind. We can have another passive. Athlete, warrior, power punch. Adds a 60 degree second to your basic melee attack. Section in front. Yes. Yes, both of these. Give me all the melee. And from this point onwards, I'm, your movement speed's permanently increased by 10%. When you rush near enemies, they get knocked down. Power punch causes... I'm probably going to go for the for this path from here on out. Is this... It's whatever, 10%. Rush distance, knockdown duration. Vulnerable while execution... Yeah, yeah, this is the stuff. This is the stuff right here. Your maximum health permanent increases by 25%. When I reduce to zero health gain, gain a shirt burst of invulnerability. Huh! Second win. That could be useful. And then in here, rerouting protocols upgrade. This performs more energy efficient. This allows the tank to perform three smashes in quick succession. Oh! <laughs> three smashes! Yeah! Yeah, buddy. Okay, let's go to Pripyat, Ukraine, and check out the second part of the map. Um, wait, which mission was I allowed to go up to? I don't even know, but they said two hours or up until, like, mission seven. So I'm assuming... Okay. Yeah, we're still ways off. We should still be able to keep on going. Pripyat, hard landing. Contact with the second Tri Star array named Red Star. Located near the old Chernobyl power station in Pripyat, this mission takes you deep behind enemy territory into the heart of the European zone of alienation. Your first objective is to clear the perimeter around the landing area from which we can stage further operations. Very well. Glad this bird is radiation heart. Take care out there, Captain. Welcome to Pripyat. The Zenos attacked the city in 1986. UNX couldn't push them back and were forced to cordon off the area and cover it up as a reactor meltdown. And the Zenos have been here ever since. But why did the base's defenses fall so easily? Question, Major, but it will have to wait for now. The automap is detecting a huge area of infestation. This one's a lot harder. Good. And it changes uh, weapon just as I thought, which is you hold down the, um, the triangle. I think that was first introduced in Borderlands, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least that's the first time I, I remember seeing it.
Ow. Captain, those things pop out Xenos at an alarming rate. At me. Ooh, melee boost, baby. Yes, yes. That's not very nice. Buddy. Oh, snap. The hell is that supposed to mean? Holy crap, no! Holy crap, this is not looking good. Serious friggin' business up in here. Okay, so what do we got here? Sweet! I should equip it, but only if I can upgrade it. So I equip the sucker. I need to break this down. And I need to break this one down, too, because this one's going to be way better. So, break that sucker down. Now... Upgrade. So, this is the only one that really matters. All the other ones, I can do whatever the hell I want with them. So, I will want... Damage. More damage. In here. Fire rate. And more damage. Because why the hell not, you know? Because the thing that I've noticed is that clip size increases how much you can shoot before you reload. My real problem is not the reload. My real problem is running out of ammunition. I thought that... I mean, I, I guess I wasn't really reading it right. Because clip size clearly does not mean more maximum ammo. But that's what I wanted it to be. And that's why I wanted more clip size. But to be honest, if I'm not going to get bonuses for those slots. It's whatever.
the hell are these nests? I don't know why that blows up three times, but thank you. Oh snap. Plasma shotgun. Launcher. Useless. That is not what this is weapon is supposed to be used for. Ow. snipers. I really don't like these snipers. Those snipers are going to be the death of me. Okay. Resistance seems to be increasing. Keep your eyes open. You don't say. I hadn't noticed that. Okay, so what do we got left? There's one more nest. I'm pretty tired of hearing the words health critical. Full try hard mode right now. Oh crap, I went into the swamp. Whew. For a second, I thought I was kind of stuck there. We're outside the radius, so I'm not gonna find the damn thing here. Gotcha. These scientists are the ones who are always getting people killed in these movies. Come on. Plasma shotgun. Energy gun. Plasma shotgun. Plasma shotgun. 
Gonna need more ammo for this. Hey guys, we activated respawn beacon. A douche. What happens now? It's over, right? Oh yeah, it's, it's just it just boots you back. <laughs> it just boots you back to the start screen. It's like, hey. <laughs> oh man, that sucked. That sucked so hard. Oh my god, I don't think that the the medic would be a fun one to play by yourself. I guess I'll try to saboteur just to show you guys a different playstyle, but... Yep. A UNX patrol investigated oh, well. reports of a crashed Xeno ship at the Northern Light facility sent a distress signal, then went silent. I'm sad. Investigate the area. I lost Find my the dude. And report their status. My dude. Good luck, Captain. This place brings back memories. It used to be known as the Arctic's Science City when I was stationed here back in 85. Nothing but ice and shadows now, Colonel. Luckily, the auto map is... Okay, so the rush on this one's a little signal. bit different. It's got two charges of warp instead. It's got more range. Also, it seems to bounce. He's also got a melee. Oh, he can't mantle? Or maybe I, you just can't go through that thing. Okay. Oops. Oh, it penetrates. Interesting, so if you don't do the tutorial, the game kind of forces the tutorial on you. I wonder if I can turn that off. That oh, doesn't matter. Holy crap, if you hold the firing button with this weapon, it's ridiculous. <laughs> They are really kind with the ammo on this first level, though. They're like, yeah, man, you can fire your gun if you want to. It's all good. And those later levels are like, no, 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 no. You got to think about whether or not you want to fire your gun. This guy deals a lot more damage. 
I think for solo play, this particular character is even better than the tank. Although I still would rather play the tank. Jesus, this weapon's so good for clearing out large groups. This just kind of bounces off everyone. What's the description of this damn weapon anyways? This is an SMG. Seriously, it's just an SMG? This looks like a really cool-ass SMG, if I can say so myself. Bursts people in a friggin' shrapnel. I don't think regular SMGs do that kind of shit, but... Maybe that's just me. Give me the C4. Nice find, Captain. C4 explosives keep well in the corner. Major, that radio signal was coming from the Naval Arctic Research Lab. It's on the water map now. Captain, head to the lab. Sounds like the patrol really needs your help back there. You found that C4, Captain. Plant the explosives on the wall, and let's see if they still work. Bleep, 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 bleep. Next, I'm going to charge the medic just to see what the medic's kit's like, because we've seen a bit of the game, like, further ahead with the other character. Oh, always forget you have to press X. I mean, we've seen uh, what the levels begin to look like and what some of the more advanced enemies uh, begin to look like, and obviously we've seen a lot of tank gameplay. So, the only thing really left for us to see, to get a better idea, is medic gameplay, so I'll do that after I'm done with this mission here. Did we level up, by the way, at all? Call in the helicopter. SMG needs a bigger clip. No Sigma X score. I think that's intentional for all weapons to not be able to shoot them, you know, like non stop. Let's take a look at this guy's kit to get an idea of what he would be like to play. So, abilities. 
Plasma sword. Your pl armor built-in blades are coated with superheated plasma. Your next two attacks are searing melee strikes that damage all enemies in the corner in front of you. Artillery strike. Single pulse centered around each team member. It marks every nearby enemy within its range. Once, shortly after the enemies have been marked, until your strike hits them with deadly precision. Camouflage. Invisibility. Athlete, kinetic assault, power punch, quick recovery. So he has the same thing. In terms of passives, he has the exact same thing that the other character that I had has. Oh, huh, that's kind of disappointing. I expected him to have different passives. Actually, it doesn't make sense, though. He doesn't really rush. He warps. That's weird. Either way, that's the, um, whatever this dude's name is. Let me switch things up. Okay, so I have the Saboteur level 2, which I actually do not want. Okay. No, oh, wait. Yes. Bio Specialist. Let's try this one out. A UNX patrol investigating reports of a crashed Xeno ship at the Northern Light facility. Magical Noob says artillery strike sounds better than it actually is. I'm assuming he played the Saboteur, because he's playing this game as well. Okay, so the medic can only dash a very short distance. The medic has the most underwhelming weapon of all. Everybody has the same reload uh, sounds, though. A little bit disappointed with that. I really wish different characters had different XP mul uh, not XP multipliers, different uh, reload sounds. That'd be cool. Let's equip that. You got a green straight off the bat. LA Medic, hells yeah. Can I get two of these? Yes, I can. After a while, once you get into the rhythm, it's very easy to... Um, I could see it, a lot of people getting addicted to this game, basically. Phantom Alpha, this is Phantom Bravo. We're trapped in the NARL. Need immediate backup. Phantom Alpha, do you copy? Problem Come here in, is man. that, you know where, for instance, in Diablo 3, you have randomly generated levels? I'm not sure if that's going to be something that maybe is available further on in this game, but if it's not, I can see this getting really repetitive. Oh! You can blow up the respawn beacons. Well, that would have been useful to know. XP multiplier up. XP multiplier up. Turn this sucker on. Wait, is the is certain sections of the map randomly generated? I think some of the enemies are. Major, that radio signal was coming from the Naval Arctic Research Lab. It's on the water map now. Captain, head to the lab. Sounds like the control really needs your help back there.
It doesn't feel gimped in any way when compared to the other two classes, at least not yet. It's all about which abilities he's gonna have, so I'll check on that after we're done with the mission. Good job, you found that C4, Captain. Plant the explosives on the wall and let's see if they still work. He goes everywhere, Captain. Get in there and kill them all. Yeah, buddy. Can I open this? Never stood a chance against a force this size. The Zeno's oh. assimilation process oh. was already on the way. Nothing else we can do for them now. Proceed to the evac location, Captain. Health is fine. You're a medic, goddammit. Heal yourself. Patch yourself up, soldier. Probably later on you'll have some kind of skill that will allow you to do that. Not just yet. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Either way, let's take a quick look at it. What are the upgrades for the medic? <clears throat> so everybody has the same passive abilities. That's a little bit disappointing. I really wish they had different passive abilities because it would allow you for more, you know, more variety in builds and stuff. Whereas this way, I mean, you know, you kind of have to figure out your playstyle. But yeah. I really wish the passive abilities were different. I mean, it's not like there's that many abilities per class unless they're planning on just adding a bunch of new classes and then they all sh Like, say if you had, for instance, like 10 classes. And I'd be like, okay, I'm okay with all of these being the same passive abilities, but you have three classes. Three, come on. Then let's see what else he does. Poison Cloud. Release a trail of wide spectrum toxins that damage all Xenos caught in the cloud. The poison is dispersed over five seconds and expires after five seconds. Oh! He's not actually a medic. Oh, he is. Healing. Nanomachines contain in the armor. Repair damage done to the wearer and allies. The effect restores an amount of health per second that increases with gear power. Wraiths. Release. Releases three swarms of nanomachines that last for 10 seconds. The swarms seek out nearby enemies and cause damage to them. It's actually more interesting than I thought. I think you could still play the medic solo pretty well and even use the healing on yourself. So yeah, I mean, I like the game. Like I said, the main thing that annoys me is two things. 30 FPS and the fact that every character shares the same um, passive abilities. Other than that, I think it's a really fun game. I think it's particularly fun if you're playing it with friends. I think you can play up to four players co-op, I believe, right? Because like if I go here, like if we go here where we have three out of four, yeah, four players co-op. Let's see what it looks Perhaps like when you have four players job. just before we, to reach we bail out of the stream here. Find out what the Xenos are bringing to Barrow, and more importantly, why. Even though I'm saying that I wish it had more class, it's not like I wasn't going to play the tank regardless, like the tank's my man. Um, what am I supposed to do? There we go. Oh, I'm the pink player. Okay, let me just change something here. Ow. Look 
David Rurikon playing the medic. Okay, the mob is considerably tougher. Which also makes things more interesting. So things scale. But you'll be able to deal with that scaling. Now this heal is on a really beefy cooldown. So you still have to use your cooldowns pretty effectively. What's this? Loot? EXP multiplier up. EXP multiplier up. I think they might have made a mistake. I think my character has the 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 nanomatic, whatever the hell this thing's called. He's the one who's got the um, the submachine gun, and the uh, saboteur, whatever, is the one with the xeno rifle. The heal does regen a lot faster than the other abilities. Oh no, I'm probably picking up um, some of those ability regen things. checking if the controller color changed I wonder if this doesn't have like local co-op huh. cuz like I'm assuming it does but I haven't really gotten around to testing it can't allow yourself to get isolated. Rifle, though it's beautiful. Getting a little bit of lag from these guys. Interesting, because they're in the UK. I think we're going to have some server issues when this thing goes live. Hopefully not. heal people again. It's actually going at a pretty reasonable pace, the time from which you can heal until you can't heal. And I like the dynamic of playing with a team. It's a lot cooler than playing by yourself, obviously, but... See the, the location of the champion in the map. These dynamic events also keep things a little bit fresh and give you rewards to boot. Well, I'm out 
of ammo. Looks like secondary weapon is the same for everybody, so I'm assuming on the heavy slot. Gun down, son. Access key. The hell's the access key thing? Progress. Shields for everyone. That's kind of neat. It seems like there's some kind of loot multiplier when you're playing with uh, multiple players. Them heals though. there's a bunch of hostiles. Cloud. Okay, let's go for this. Wonder if the rendezvous takes longer though, because that would be the thing. I'd kind of like that if we had to like fight our way to the chopper, kind of like Helldivers. You remember in Helldivers you had to do that? And also, please give me, like, a wave of enemies so that I can test this thing on it. There you go. Oh, there's like, that's some Matrix shit right there. Look at that. That's awesome.
problem is the long ass cooldown on these abilities, but again, I'm pretty sure that with gear, that kind of stuff gets minimized quite a bit. No! Not to mention you're supposed to be constantly killing enemies, and they have a chance to drop that like um quick this boost. Thing. Wait. Oh no, each each get your own box, okay. Oh, there's a limit to how much you can carry. That's why you want to be able to salvage on the field. Okay. So yeah, overall... <clears throat> overall, I have to say, I really enjoy um, Alienation. I think it's a lot of fun. It does a lot of the things that Mark knows how to do and combines it into an RPG. Um, kind of like a Diablo. Wait, I don't wanna... How do I leave party? I wanna, like, leave party. Options. How the fuck do I leave party? Oh, change squad. As I was saying, it does a lot of the things that Housemark knows how to do, which is shooting. Combines that with RPG elements. Uh, but it does... You kind of do get a sense that this is their first time going into the RPG thing with all those passives kind of being the same. But at the same time, I think it's very easy to get into this game, particularly if you have a group of friends that you plan on playing with. I think it is a ton of fun, but even solo, even solo, I think it's a lot of fun. It just requires a lot more methodical, um, a lot more of a methodical pace if you want to play it properly. And the upgrade system is going to keep people in the loot run for quite some time. So I think it's a lot of fun. I don't know how much uh, the game is right now, but I'm I've been hearing in chat from a lot of guys that it looks like it's a uh, good value for your money. So, yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. If you guys enjoy the gameplay, you'll probably enjoy the game. That's going to be it for this live stream. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're watching this in the VOD format, leave me all your comments, feedback, all the kinds of good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.